the season of holiday gatherings and the perfect time for taking photos with families and friends. That means having a great, bright, big, beautiful smile. Dr. Shedley Shatsley Vincent is the owner of Aspen Dental, co-owner rather, in Fairfield and Norwalk, and joins me now. Welcome back to the Connecticut Star. It's always nice to have you here. Thank you. It's nice to be here. So maybe right off the bat we should talk a little bit about whitening options because mm -hmm. it is that time where you're in front of the camera. I know you take the family Christmas cards, that yeah. type of thing. What are some of the options? Well, there's two options. You could do whitening in office, which is the quickest option. It takes an hour to do. Mm -hmm. Or you could do trays, like take-home trays, that you do every night for about a three about three to four nights and you keep them in for about two hours okay and yeah. what about the over-the-counter products do that do, do you recommend those or you know they are good but the thing is that the concentration in them to whiten your teeth is not as strong so it okay. takes much longer to do and also it could cause sensitivity sometimes so if that occurs it's better if you do it in the office so we could control that when it does happen got it I think we we talk about this every time you hear but it's so important to have healthy oral health because it goes hand in hand with your regular health. It does. I mean, oral health is the gateway to our overall health. And we know now that um, gum disease can lead to many other different things like heart disease, strokes, diabetes, osteoporosis, even um, babies with low birth weight. Really? So it's very important to take care of it. And 75% of us have gum disease and we're not even aware of it. So if we catch it early on, then we know that we could prevent it from getting any worse. Can, how can we prevent it? Is there a way to reverse it once you do have well, it? Well, if you have gum disease at the early stages, mm. yes, by keeping up with your cleanings and regular exams and by brushing and flossing regularly. All right. Uh, we're talking about healthy smiles for the holidays. Yes. And we also have to mention dentures because people wear them. And uh, how do you know when to replace your dentures? Well, there's many ways that you can know. If your dentures are ill-fitting, mm. if you need repair, um, these are signs that you know that you need to replace the dentures because it's tough. First of all, it's hard for you to eat and chew and you won't get the proper nutrients that you need. But not only that, I find a lot of patients tell me that they don't like to smile if the dentures don't look good oh, anymore. Nobody wants that, you know? right? Yeah, and they're nervous. They cover their, you know, their mouth with their hands. And getting a new pair of dentures really does renew your self-confidence. And people tell me that they just can't stop smiling. So it's something that's really important to do for yourself and for your health, too. And you have a new line of dentures that you offer to your patients? Yes, we have eight um, styles of dentures for full and partial dentures. It's the Comfy Dent brand. So it's very good for patients that come in because it's different styles and also for different budgets. And you have a lab right on the premises. That yes. makes the whole process easier. Yes. Yeah, so all the Aspen dental offices have an on-site lab so the denture turnaround, turnaround time is very fast and if you need repairs or adjustment you just come in and you wait. Let's talk about the cost of dentures. I'm sure affordability might be a problem for some people. Yes, especially in our times now with the economy at the economy mm -hmm. but you know this is the good time right now at the end of the year to come in and get things done because most of the time the dental plans they end at the end of the year or your flex plans end at the end of the year and usually they don't carry over to the next year so it's a good time to take advantage of it and do it now because if you wait too long something that is not that bad now that could just be a filling could end yeah. up becoming worse more painful and more expensive I see we have a couple extra minutes here let's talk about cleanings how often do we need to, to head to the dentist you want to have your cleanings done every six months a cleaning and exam just to make sure there's no underlying problems and to keep your gums healthy and when do we start with that at what age um, usually I mean if you bring your child in at the age of six months just in the beginning just to have a quick look at the gums mm -hmm. that's great but really you want to get them in start at the age of three well that sounds terrific so again yeah. we talked about the whiting options so you yeah. can come right to your office and mm -hmm. we talked about the trays and also the procedure done in the office and that sounds terrific and um, again, let's put some information up on the screen to make an appointment. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL or visit aspendental.com. Dr. Vincent, as always, thank you so much for being here. Thank and for you so much. Uh